been outspoken on this, saying that journalists should be very skeptical of the U.S. government claims. Lay out your case for us. So I think everybody would agree that it's certainly plausible that this is something that Russia might have done. Um, I certainly wouldn't pa put it past them. It wouldn't shock me if it turns out that they did. This is the sort of thing Russia and the U.S. have done to other countries and to one another for many decades, including over the last 10 years. So nobody would say Russia didn't do it or that it would be shocking if they did. But there's a lesson, a really critical lesson that I thought we had learned back in August 1964 when the U.S. Senate stood up and authorized Lyndon Johnson to to escalate the war in Vietnam with two dissenting votes based on the intelligence community's claims about what happened in the Gulf of Tonkin that turned out to be totally false. And the same lesson in 2002 when a group of bipartisan senators assured the nation that the intelligence community convinced them that Saddam had uh, weapons of mass destruction and was in an alliance with Al-Qaeda. And the same lesson we learned in 2013 when just months before the Snowden reporting, James Clapper, President Obama's top national security official, lied to the faces of the country when he said, that he wants to assure everybody that the NSA doesn't collect data on millions of Americans. And that lesson is we don't just blindly and uncritically accept the claims of the intelligence community, especially provocative claims about a foreign adversary, without seeing convincing evidence presented by them that those claims are true. And we absolutely have not seen that in this case. I don't trust a single thing the CIA says now or has ever said. Okay, and have excellent reason not to do so. Had to write a whole book about how it was the CIA who told the South Africans where to find Nelson Mandela when he was on the run because the South African police were too dumb to find him. About Chile, about Guatemala, about Greece, about Indonesia. Record of crime and disinformation and lying to the American people. And I'm currently a plaintiff in a lawsuit brought by the ACLU against the National Security Association, uh, Agency, excuse me for uh, doing what it knows how to do, which is bug American citizens, instead of doing what it appears not to know how to do, which is how to predict terrorist attacks in the United States. David Spark reporting for the Electronic Frontier Foundation. I am here at the RSA conference in San Francisco. The new administration has got its hands on some very powerful surveillance capabilities. Should they know all of our secrets? What don't you want the NSA to know about you? Hmm. I would rather they didn't know anything about me at all. I don't want them to know any of my emails, any of my text messages, any of my phone calls, any of the people I'm talking to in real time. I don't want any drones over me. None of that. Don't want them knowing what's in my emails. No need to know what I actually write to my boyfriend, my mother, my twin sister. Is there anything specific that, that you don't want them to know? No, I mean, you know, I don't want to be one of those, I have nothing to hide, so what's the problem kind of guys. There's not a ton that I really care if the NSA knows about me, but I know that I'm in the strong minority here. Everyone says I have nothing to hide, and that's not the point. The point is that I want to control what people know about me. I think I probably would not want the NSA to know that I've had lots of conversations making fun of the NSA. <laughs> We couldn't afford an Atari system as a kid, so we had the Odyssey system. I want to keep that private. Well, now we all know that. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have revealed that. I don't want them to know my bank account numbers. I don't want them to know my financial records. I don't want them to know the secrets that I keep when I'm talking in my sleep. I don't want them to know uh, my shoe size, what color underwear I wear, the brand of peanut butter I uh, buy, or if I went to a protest last weekend. I don't want them to be tracking my kids. I'm all about privacy when it comes to my kids, so I don't care what they know about me, my social media, or whatever, but I like them to keep my kids out of it. What specifically about your personal life do you not want them to know? My sex life. What I browse for at night. I don't want them to know all the things that Pornhub knows about me. I don't want them to know everything I purchase on Amazon because I don't want my wife to find out. I specifically want to be of no interest to the NSA. You want to be boring to the NSA. So boring. Like the dentist, I have the same relationship. I want him to call, you know, and just go, oh, her again, get rid of her. What don't you want the NSA to know about you? I think that ship has sailed. Do you think they know a lot about you already? Yes, I assume they do. And does that scare you? Yes, it does. It scares me and offends me. I don't think their charter is to spy on Americans, so why are they? What don't you want the NSA to know about you? Uh, that I'm secretly, but not so secretly, Canadian. Being a Canadian is not a crime. Not yet, anyway. <laughs>